All right, what's up, guys? Now, here's another video where I wanted to kind of talk on PlayStation Plus because here's the thing. You know, I, I think everybody knows how critical I am when it comes to uh, Ubisoft games. And the thing is, is this, you know, for the most part, there have been some Ubisoft games where they have captured my attention. For an example, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Really good game. I have to say that's probably one of the best Tom Clancy's, ga Tom Clancy's games I have ever played throughout my whole life. The Division series. I, I'm telling you right now, like the Division 1 um, and the Division 2, it, it captured a lot of my time. And I was like, it was, it was do they, they don't even have the Division Oh, no, they do. They do. I was about to say, I could have sworn I saw the Division 1 on here at one point. But yeah, the Division series captured my attention. Um, the crew, I liked the first one. The second one, it was okay. The Assassin's Creed series, I, I mean, I, I think we can all agree, like, the Assassin's Creed series is probably one of the best series that Ubisoft has ever produced. If not, it is the best series that Ubisoft has ever produced. But my thing is, is this. There are some games that are on here that don't particularly work properly. Uno, for an example um the division 2 i have to say more so on pc it doesn't work i haven't really sat down and played it on playstation but i'm pretty sure there's probably some forums that exist where they're saying where people are saying hey my game don't work properly on the playstation 5 ghost recon breakpoint i you know it's one of those games where it's like at from time to time you see it where the game is on sale because people just wasn't really fooling with it i guess if you're a fan of the ghost recon series that'd be the only reason why um steep i i can't really say too much on steep this game shouldn't even like i mean it, it's it's there but i feel like it, nothing really isn't being done to it anymore and stuff so trials yeah it's, yeah it's okay ish i guess um and i'm trying to think but yeah there's like other games on here there's like the old tom clancy games where i'm like these are all the games that you guys got I i'm gonna just go in order of like just go down the list and things of the games that i know for a fact people ain't really messing with it like that for an um starting off with the first game rainbow six extraction I have yet to see anybody actually sit down and play this game. I The last person I seen play this game was myself. Other than that, I don't see nobody streaming this game on Twitch. I don't see TikTok videos of this game. I don't see none of that. This is one of those games where it's like they released it. And it was like, I, I think, no, I think this was a game where they pretty much was just giving it away for free. Because they was like, ain't nobody going to buy this. Writer's Republic. I feel like people were kind of messing with it when it originally came out, but now it's like, I yeah, the game might as well be dead. Maybe there are still people playing it, but I don't hear about it and stuff. So, Far Cry series, nah, it's all right. Um, I mean, you know, like people, I think they play, get through the story, and then afterwards, it's like it's done and over with and stuff. Um, uh, the the crew too. I would say like my issue with that game is that it's very unbalanced. Like you'll be racing, you'll so you'll be racing, right? You'll lose the race. You'll go and um uh fix or tune up your car to make your car faster. Go back to that same race somehow, some way. The cars are going the same exact speed, even though it still shows that they're a low level car. That to me, that don't make no sense. I'm like, I don't know what you guys got going on with that, but yeah, I'm like that. That don't make no sense to me um uno i think done crashed on just about every platform i done used it on uh what are some other games um yeah i think that's that's about it so it's like my my thing is, is this my question to ubisoft why aren't you guys adding like the classic games like um advanced warfighter or um the Spl um splinter cell series i'm saying there's all these different games that you guys could have very well added to ubisoft um plus classics but I ain't seen no classics in here. It's like if uh, like these these are probably the last two games that Ubisoft really had like set down. Well, no, I think have they came out with any other games? No, I don't think they have. I, I don't remember them really coming out with any other games. Like I think what maybe Far Cry. Do they even have bro? They don't even have Far Cry uh six on here. 
so it's like my thing is is this what's the reason of even subscribing if these are all the games i'm gonna get and there's probably so many other games that you guys can add and it's like why are you not adding them and this is supposed to be classics when i think of classics i'm not thinking of a game that came out maybe a few years back i'm thinking of games that came out when i was like in high school there ain't nothing classic about this catalog so that's why i'm like yeah this ubisoft and and again playstation this all leads down to playstation plus raising their prices wrongfully you're not adding anything or changing anything in order for you know us to agree with the price raise there ain't nothing being added here so that's what i'm saying it's like bro if you guys are gonna like raise the price add more games to the ubisoft plus i'm saying it's like but to not add anything and to not do anything but you're raising the prices how do you think people are gonna roll with that how do you think people are gonna just be um accepting that and they gonna be not ain't nobody gonna be okay with that so but anyways uh yeah and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for uh watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace